Hi there, Andrew with Zang Physical Therapy here. And today I wanna to talk about something that is important and more people walk around and live with this daily than I think they realize. And that is, when is it possible that your leg pain is something more than that? And to that end, I mean, when is your pain not muscular or joint related? And when could it possibly be uh, something non, what we call non-mechanical? And it may be related to your vascular system actually. So that is your heart and blood vessels. And so this is something that tends to happen more in folks who are a little bit older, um, probably over the age of 40 really, and definitely over the age of 60 is where some of this stuff can happen, just as the blood vessels aren't quite as uh, pliable and healthy as they may have been when you were 20. Um, these are people who may have maybe on uh, blood pressure medications, uh, maybe on cholesterol medications, are being regularly tracked by their PCP, primary care doctor, or, or a cardiovascular uh, cardiologist, and any of those professions who's monitoring any issues. Certainly any individual who has had any kind of heart procedure uh, vein stripping procedure, any of this could lead somebody uh, to have actually potentially have leg pain. And how is this possible? Well, your blood vessels supply uh, blood, oxygen, nutrients to your muscles, right? And so if your system isn't delivering enough oxygenated blood to your muscles, some people get a heaviness, some people get a burning sensation, uh, and for some people, this can be painful. These individuals may see swelling in their leg. They may see uh, discoloration of their skin, especially below the knee is where this can come in. These are people who they become more symptomatic. I mean, they have more pain, more heaviness, stiffness, etc. if they're up and walking around and active. And that's because their muscles are requiring oxygen, which their body is having a hard time delivering the appropriate amount to the muscle. And so that burning and heaviness is actually like the muscles are feeling starved for oxygen, so to speak. So this is something that walks around out there routinely. Uh, it is something that people think they just have to live with, uh, or they just don't understand what it is, and they go in thinking they have leg pain. And hopefully their provider is able to tease out that it may not be what we call musculoskeletal or muscle bone or joint issue, and it's actually the, the could be the vascular system. And if that is the case, and then, then that means that you need to go see a physician for that. And they have many different potential treatment options. Uh, that's their realm, so that's a discussion for them to have. Um, but I can't to tell you the number of folks that I've seen over over the years that have had this pain and um, you know once it was recognized and treated their leg pains and heaviness and burning actually went away so if you are someone who has any of those symptoms that I've described uh, please don't hesitate to contact your uh, family doctor uh, whoever is treating you and discuss the potential that there may be something more going on. And if there is, get it treated. And once that issue has been treated, then come back to somebody like myself, a physical therapist, and we'll help you to rebuild your strength and your stamina and balance if that's a problem and get you going. Because in the end, it should this should be um, teamwork. Uh, the doctor should be able to do one part for you to get you feeling better. Then the therapist like myself, we take it the rest of the way and get you back into activity, get you back into doing what you want to do uh, so that you're happy and healthy. So if, if you're out there and you have any of those symptoms um, and you're seeing a physical therapist, discuss that with them. You know, Talk about the need to see either your primary care doctor or uh, cardiology doctor or a vascular doctor, and then hopefully they can answer some questions, run some tests, um, determine if that potentially is a problem. If it is, uh, begin to get you moving in the right direction. So if you have any more questions, 
uh, please let me know. I'm more than happy to uh, try to point you in the right direction if this is something that you are dealing with um, because it is important and it's something you don't want to wait. As long as you wait, um, the harder recovery sometimes can be and it might not be as full or complete of recovery if too much time passes. All right. So again, any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have a very nice day.